What's up, everybody out there? You know me, Jay Cage. And today, you know, I'm bringing you another finance strategy. And a lot of people don't realize that ministry just means finance. So you always see me prepping and, you know, bringing you different finance strategies and approaches. Just know that, you know, I'm ministering the community. Okay, so with that being said, it's based on raising capital. So I'm going to show you as an individual as myself that have an investment company, how you can have a fund or investment company yourself and position yourself to raise, you know, large amounts of money behind the scenes like these other guys that's pretty much hedge fund manage managers, e private equity fund managers, different things of that nature in the assets management uh, category, right? So how it works is, first of all, okay, you would have a fund. So I put uh, your fund, right? So your fund would be set out to raise pr pr primarily uh, equity financing over just debt finance, just borrow money. You'll be, you know, looking to sell a stake of your fund to, you know, private investors to sell. Like I always tell you from the credit investors that could be high network individuals, institutional investors, uh, family office, different, you know, families that, that, that deal with a lot of, you know, private wealth. So what happened, you'll be looking for equity capital in the capital market. The capital market is pretty much pool capital, right? Where, where behind the scenes, like, you know, that's where they do their investing to other, you know, different uh, finance strategies. Uh, people come to them what that make most sense to them. So why I broke down these two main institutions, because outside of them, these are the main two institutions outside of banks when you're dealing with, you know, more partnership, more private agreements. So what happened is, what happens is you'll go to them with your uh, your proposal, et cetera, and you'll go to an insurance company or a pension fund. And we both know that uh, both institutions, you know, uh, pretty much deal with, you know, lots of capital because, you know, the insurance company, you know what I'm saying, they make money off set of insurance policies for different, you know, reasons from the term life uh, to the whole life and, you know, so many different products that serve their office. So, they're full with cash in most cases. And the pension funds deal with retirement plans for everybody that work in the public pretty much, you know, got a retirement plan that's set up for the next 20, 30 years, however that may work. And, you know, someone like us could be a fund manager, money manager, that go to these type of institutions and get a minimum of 2 million to 10 million or 100 million, whatever it may be, according to your proposal and your approach, which you are looking to do with this type of money. So they got to expand what, uh, capital for the retirement plan that got to be paid out, you know, every, you know, year or two, uh, how the, the, the cycle system work and the insurance company looking at, you know, have returns back on, you know, certain investment they put out. So now you're not looking to borrow them, but you're looking to sell a stake to these type of institutions. So what they both have in common, they both have to invest other people's money. So over here, what you're doing, you're not just using other people's money. You are actually managing other people's money because the difference is, you know, when you manage other people's money, it's like this. The rich and the wealthy folks pay you to manage their money. And once you understand that, you have no more finance worry because you understand what's going on behind the scenes. So what happened is after you get the funded, primarily in most cases, you know, you may be focused on the securities market. And the securities market is pretty much, you know, from buying stocks and derivatives. And the buying is an endeavor where, you know, it, it's, it's pretty much, uh, you know, certain certain procedures, you know, give them a you know, performance, back payment, the buy mature and things of that nature. A stock represent equity, like y'all should know now. I've been breaking down a lot of equity finance and showing you what equity is. So, you know, stock and a derivative is pretty much, you know, the underlying security. So you'll be dealing with like future contracts, et cetera, that's dealing with, you know, stock. It could be dealing with commodities, different things that that's that's not dealing directly with the, the security itself. You just you pretty much, you can say betting on the future, you know, so you make money if it go down or it go up, if you properly know what you're doing. So with that being said, that's your derivative market, you know what I'm saying, that you are actually using to make money. So that's pretty much the finance sector because I got finance and I got tech. So the tech is where, you know, a lot of time as private equity come in, you know what I'm saying? And what happened is, you know, you're investing into the tech sector, a certain, you know, industry, where well, certain, you know, business models that's not looking to be the next, best and big thing but that's looking to take a, a a nice you know space in that industry right so with that being said now you're moving more like i was saying private equity actually you know based on leverage buyouts you know what i'm saying some people some people just buy the whole company out they may trade a stock off to buy the company off or whatever for more control they hold that for three to five years and 
may sell it all to another private equity firm or another big institution, another company, whatever, whatever. So now when I say you operate now, the other side of that spectrum is the venture capital. So you might be operating as a venture capital going into, like I was talking about, into these tech companies that need startup funding. So, you know, you're looking to invest into something that's about to take off in the next three, four, five years, private hell. You got the private preferred stock or whatever it may be, common stock, or you might have a convertible security, you might have bonds, et cetera. And when this company actually, you know, go public, et cetera, you actually, you know, you're, you're well in Spain. So you might be also using a lending program where you can still lending money to different individuals that's looking to buy resident properties, commercial property, and also things of that nature. So what happened is your fund would be diverse. So you have a diverse portfolio company that you're actually managing. So you're not just investing to one sector, one class. You're investing into uh, a, a variety of different classes and sectors globally if that's what you want to do, you know, thinking on a global scale also, you know. But this puts you in a position where you're outside of just sales, you know what I'm saying? You, you're outside of retail and sales. You're dealing with the management, acquisition, distribution, how you're, you're raising capital for these for these type of uh, processes, for these strategies, and you're looking to distribute the, the funds back in different compensation plans that you may have. So this is how guys who create private equity funds, hedge fund companies, and the asset plan, assets management uh, category, category, this is how they actually raise you know, large amounts of money, not just using the techniques that we're talking about with, you know, microfinance, dealing with, you know, business credit cards and different loans, et cetera. And the whole life is still, I think, is great and still big for a lot of us because that's the foundation to the individual policy that that will be owned by the trust. So each kid that comes to raise a heritage will be owned, you know, they, they possibly be owned by the trust. So that's how people are born into well. A lot of people talk about the Rockefeller because they're some of the most, you know, powerful fans that we can crawl that really monetize the power. What a lot of people don't talk about is that the Rockefellers control a big space in that industry with the insurance policy. So they don't just focus just on the individual policy, which that's a great thing because that create the banking system for your in-house banking structure. But what happened is we got to learn how to buy institutions out also. So it's bigger than just the insurance power. We're talking about going to the insurance company pitching for, for a partnership as a state with the entity that you're using to raise funding. And with that being said, I'm out. Wealth occasion where equity starts, where equity lies at. Peace and love to everyone out there. I'm out.